hey y'all welcome or welcome back to another video today i thought it would be fun if i shared with you guys some of my product predictions for 2023 so if that is something you want to see sit back relax and let's get into it now i meant to do this video in january before products started launching but i'm doing it now so some of these products have already launched and i had in my mind that they were going to do it but nonetheless I have some brand new products, some products that I know for sure are dropping, and then I have my predictions. And these are just some of my favorite brands, so please comment down below and share your predictions for some of your favorite brands that I might not mention. So I'm starting off with Pattern Beauty because in my mind, I had no idea they were coming out with like a whole tool, like a whole blow dryer, but I already thought like if they were gonna come out with something else, it would be something with heat so they did come out with a shine spray and a heat protectant but i was thinking like maybe a blow dry cream like something to give the girls a little more moisture maybe i'm surprised they didn't do that but otherwise pattern has like a pretty good assortment of tools and products Next up, we have Brie Ogio, one of my OG faves. They recently just dropped their Destin for Density. I put Destin for, sorry, my heat came on, but it's cold and I don't even feel like turning it off. But they just dropped their Destin, Destin for Density line, which includes a serum, a biotin supplements, shampoos, and conditioners. I'm not really going to pick that up, but if you are in the market, if your hair seems thin right now, definitely check it out. Come back and let me know how that goes. Also on Ulta's website, I saw that they were dropping the Color Me Brilliant Mushroom and Bamboo Collection, and that is dropping today i'm recording this video on friday but i think it's dropping on sunday check the description box down below and i'll let you know but um this is their but this is their color protectant shampoo conditioner and primer which i might actually pick up because i do plan on dyeing my hair even like a lighter blonde so we'll see because you know brio gel products are a little expensive but they're supposed to make your color last longer not fade and be good for color treated hair i didn't really have any predictions for biogio they kind of already run the gamut when it comes to products i know i would want a better blowout cream for them but that wasn't even on my list and i wish they just made like a heavier gel that i could use as a styler on my hair but other than that biogio is another brand that like I, I don't know what they possibly could come out with and they did come out with um, a shampoo bar but that's coming up in another video because I've been using it for a while so definitely check back so you can hear more about that so my first prediction for 2023 is Ajwa Beauty now I am pretty sure they are gonna come out with a melon berry line I just don't know if it's just going to be stylers because that's what I feel like because Blue Tansy was a set, but it didn't have stylers. So I kind of feel like Melonberry is going in the direction of being like a hair milk. I kind of want them to do like a new curling cream because don't get me wrong, the one from the Bowerment collection worked amazing with the Melonberry hair milk. Like that is like such a great combination just because of the hole that it gave me. But if they could lighten the hold in their curl defining cream or just give me some sort of like pudding that would be nice or like a custard maybe. I don't know because their gel is already like a cream gel and come on we have been talking to Julian. <laughs> for a month about a mousse and she's been trying to figure out how to formulate that i know that for a fact because i follow her on instagram and when she goes live i am present and accounted for it so fingers crossed for a mousse you know that is my jam or a foam i should say that's my jam right now so i'm excited to see what 2023 has in store for Ajua beauty Okay, editing fan in here. Sorry I look like this. But I forgot about melanin. I think because of the whole conditioner debacle, it didn't even like register in my mind to even think about them. I believe that Whitney will come out with a gel as well. I think that's something that they're missing um, from their line. And I'm sure they're working on new products 
we'll see i don't know maybe by the end of 2023 we'll see that from them but that actually popped into my head last night and i forgot and i just wanted to add them next up i have Mish, which is another brand that i kind of feel like they have everything they have covered all their bases fairly quickly in my opinion but i could probably see them coming out with maybe more tools maybe a hair serum and possibly more deep conditioners that's usually their thing um they already have an amazing mousse i wish their i wish i got more though like i wish their containers were larger but that's just a personal preference um so yeah what am i missing what do you think mish could possibly launch in 2023 Next up, I have Eco Slay, and in my opinion, I wish they would do a new leave-in. Don't get me wrong, their rice pudding is okay. I just don't really like it on my hair, so I wish they would come out with another one for personal reasons. I could honestly see them coming out with some sort of like scalp detox or some sort of mask, especially because they're such a natural brand. Like I think some sort of treatment mask, detox mask, something of that nature, um, especially because you know, Chocolate Kinks and Curls has definitely taken a break. I think that leaves a market open for another brand to step in and deliver because I like clay masks um and hopefully they can formulate a mousse i know that's something that adriel was like trying to figure out how to formulate so who knows maybe and last bread beauty has been teasing this new product for the last six months and i'm pretty sure it's a gel it just has not launched yet um i'm anxious to try it there's actually a few bread products that i want to try because i honestly haven't tried anything new since i tried their products what two years ago when they first launched in 2020 no that's three years ago well two and a half so um i definitely need to try their scalp mask i need to try their scalp serum i'm a huge fan of their oils i have both of them in my stash but yeah i think they're gonna come out with a gel and the packaging looks super cute and super interesting. But we'll see. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And last but not least, I do want to mention that Tia came out with For You by Tia. She has a clarifying shampoo, a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. I believe she has a lightweight conditioner. I know she has a gel and I feel like a curl cream that she recently launched, I believe, it went live on January 31st, so it's fairly new. And those products will be arriving on my doorstep on Monday, so I'll be trying those out definitely. So that is it for my product predictions. I couldn't think of anything for the do. I couldn't think of anything for TGIN, so if you can, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you really soon.